Hey everyone, we're live here at the announcement of the Commonwealth Games for New Zealand Sevens. I'm here with Scott Curry and Sarah Goss. And guys, how does it feel to be named in the Commonwealth Games Sevens teams? Yeah, it's really exciting. Obviously, it's a pinnacle event and everyone wants to be in that team to go to the Com Games. So, yeah, really excited. Totally. And Sarah, when you, you know, obviously you got the official naming today, but when you got that phone call, how did that feel? Talk us through that. What's that like? Uh, it was hugely exciting. It gives you little goosebumps and you get quite emotional being able to represent your country at a uh, Commonwealth Games and the first one for us women. Totally. So, Scuzz, tell us, you know, you've got your World Series, you've got your World Cups, you've got Olympics, but put us in context. What, how, what does the Com Games mean to you guys? Yeah, it's huge. Obviously, um, after the Olympics, it's probably the next biggest tournament for us um, as a team. Um, it's always a massively exciting time and we get to be a part of like a, a bigger New Zealand team, which is quite cool. Uh, it's pretty unique for us as a team and um, to have the girls along with us this time is going to be pretty special and the boys are definitely keen to get along and, and support the girls. Awesome. So, you know, your history is four golds, one silver. That's a lot of medals you guys have brought back. Do you guys take that in as motivation or how do you guys take that? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely motivation. Like the history of our team at the Commonwealth Games is pretty impressive, and um, for us that were there in 2014 it was kind of disappointing to come away with a silver. Um, obviously, everyone before then had gone gold, so uh, we'll be looking to go back for that uh, and go for a gold medal, and hopefully uh, the girls can do the same. Yeah, so because you alluded the you had the silver medal, you've gotten a Coms Game medal before, which is huge. What's the Coms Games like? You're a seasoned campaign, campaigner. Tell everyone if they've never been, what's it like? Um, yeah, it's huge. It's um, there's a massive village where all the athletes live, um, and like there's a massive dining hall, and it's, it's just everything's on a massive scale compared to I guess what we're used to when we go to tournaments and we have we have so 16 teams there. There's thousands of athletes from um, from hundreds of countries, and uh, it's pretty cool to mix with different athletes and, and see them perform on the stage as well. Oh, this guy's killing it. Um, in contrast, here, women's have never been in the Com Games for Sevens. I don't know why, you tell me why, but what does that mean for women? Uh, it means that our game's getting uh, a lot of growth that we deserve and to be able to play alongside um, the men at a pinnacle event like this is going to be um, a massive achievement and I hope that, like um, Scott said, that we can go both go um, and win gold. Totally, and you know, you're both in the middle of your season for World Series. Com Games is smack bang in the middle. Does it, you know, does the training change? Does it change anything in your season plans or you had it all planned out? No, we've been planning it for the last um, four years, I suppose. So once we were finished, this was always the next pinnacle event and we knew that we had to, um, that this was going to be, our training was going to be based around this event and then obviously afterwards we continue our World Series. So it's massive, it means that that's why Sevens is tough. You have to get up when you um, sometimes don't want to, but it's going to be a massive event in a couple of weeks. Totally. And um, guys, so just lastly, Com Games in Australia, it's close to home. What messages do you want to give out there to your fans? How can we support? Yeah, it's, it's awesome that it's nice and close to, to New Zealand and um, so hopefully plenty of our friends and family can get along and um, just quick pop over the ditch and, and support us over there and I'm, I know there's plenty of Kiwis living uh, in the Gold Coast as well so hopefully they can get down and, and really support us because uh, it definitely makes a difference when we've got support in the crowd um, and the boys always like um, seeing all the New Zealand flags and that sort of stuff when we go around so hopefully uh, we get some good support over there. And Gossie, anything? Last words? What's it going to be like? Uh, if you can't go to the Com Games, then make sure you're watching us on TV because obviously the um, time difference is going to be um, pretty awesome in New Zealand. So support us, follow us all on social media to see what we're getting up to over the next couple of weeks and um, we hope we can bring home gold for you. That's it from Rip Guy and Rip Captain. Let's go, Com Games!